So let's talk a little bit about uh, grow lights and something new that I've got right now. This is uh, actually from Spider Farmer, and this is called the uh, Glow 80. Now, uh, Glow 80 has 80 watts of total light, but uh, each of these two uh, glow bars are about uh, 40 watts in their power draw. Now, why would you want something like this? Well, I have uh, a lot of different lights, and most of these lights that I use are for 2x2, two 3x3 two, three foot, three foot grow spaces, and they uh, permit me to grow larger plants. These Glow 80 grow bars put out lower PPFD over a wider area. If I were to suspend both of the bars side by side, and they're roughly about uh, 38 inches of LED diode uh, coverage, and I would space those apart a little bit parallel. And what that would do, I'll just kind of illustrate a little bit about like that, that would give me uh, the ability to put these uh, on a shelving unit. What I could uh, attach with would be on the ends. There's uh, three different ways that I could set these up. Now, if I were going to put these on my uh, wire rack bar, I would probably just run through the uh, end hole here with a zip tie and zip tie those up against the uh, bottom of the rack above. Now the uh, uh, PPFD that comes down off these is r right about uh, the range of uh, 150 to 300 at about 8 inches above uh, the plants. And I would be able to uh, grow, for example, uh, a huge harvest of microgreens or lettuce, and clones would be another great thing to be able to use these lights with because clones don't take that much light compared to full grown plants. Clones, as well as uh, seed starts. Now, the uh, grow light is going to be cheap to run and it's well made. I like uh, that the uh, pigtails that come with it uh, just interlock and are easy to uh, put together. Came in a uh, nice box that had a lot of uh, cushioning and as usual with grow lights, there's a manual talks about uh, ways to do different things with these lights. They have uh, four of these light hangers that came with, and if you have the space and you want to use those, there's a single hole in the center on both ends that the clip just goes right through, and then you could hang that and you can adjust, you know, the uh, hang height, you know, if you need to. Uh, the included zip ties would be for like the wire racks that I, I have and one other interesting thing that they put in this box was these metal bars and I was kind of uh, curious about that but there's a couple spaces on the uh, top of these lights and if you put that through there and pop it into those, I'm not going to pop that in, but uh, that is to suspend the light and hang it vertically. So if I had a uh, large plant, you know, well, kind of like, say, the alocasia that's back in the corner here that has a lot of uh, vegetation on it, maybe it has uh, younger uh, shoots coming up underneath of it. I can hang these lights vertically and I can help to illuminate that uh, under canopy. It gets a little bit more photosynthesis and uh, 
shows the uh, ability to get more productivity out of the plant by not only uh, lighting the canopy, but also the sides of it. They included a timer, which is nice. I do use uh, smart plugs that I program off my phone for most of my lights anymore, but uh, it's there if you need it. Now, in addition, what I'm going to uh, talk about is in the back here, there's a couple of gardens that I used for lettuce. Now, they have nine planting sites uh, per garden and 40 watts per light. Now, these are fairly expensive, and the uh, plant spacing is a little bit tighter than what I would like uh, for, for example, romaine lettuce. With the Spider Farmer Glow 80, I can space those lettuce plants out a little bit farther apart. Usually, if you have one of the, the bigger heads of lettuce, uh, allow about uh, every eight inches and so running these two side by side, I can get a lot of uh, vegetative mass in a nice area. One of the things that has uh, been a little challenging with those units is the cleaning cycle. And so with the Glow 80s, what I can do is I could take a food safe plastic tub and I could set that up using the Cracky Passive uh, Hydroponic uh, method and that would permit me to do maybe several heads of lettuce all the way down and I could run those uh, not all at once like in a garden like this but staggered and that way I could have uh, one box to harvest followed by another by another by another and that would keep me in a perpetual cycle of harvesting lettuce for the family. So that's just a couple tips, and it's just uh, the latest and one of the grow things that I am using, and I wanted to share with you.